interrupt BB. Um, just for you guys, uh, we talked about it after the Pistons game, coming out, getting your business done. Just what do you think of your guys' professionalism tonight to, to go out and, and get it done? Um, I think everybody was locked in from start to finish. Um, you know, sometimes throughout a, a season, um, you know, you kind of get these home stands where almost all the games you need to, you know, win them and they need to, um, you know, matter, um, you know, especially going forward with us having a, um, you know, four game road skid coming up. Um, obviously, being in New York for a week, play three games there, then go to Cleveland. So, um, be a big road test. So, you know, defending home court is a big thing. And uh, proud of, you know, all our guys, the, how we competed um, the first five games. But, you know, big test for us on Thursday, team that beat us, young team, um, you know, energetic, exciting team. So I'm excited for that. But I like our, um, I like where we're at right now. But we still got a long way to go. Another big night for you, but also for Dame. Just what have you seen from him in the first quarter? I think he had 19 in the first quarter tonight. Yeah, I mean, he's just being himself. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, it's tough coming from a situation where you've been, you know, comfortable in for, you know, 11, 12 years straight. So um, coming to a new team, finding rhythm, finding chemistry with the guys that you're playing with took, you know, all of us kind of time to figure it out and, you know, get a rhythm. But, you know, now it's cool see him go out there and, you know, he scores 40 and it'd be like, a regular night, like it's a regular thing. Like he makes it look easy, but um, you know, hell of a player. Happy my teammate. Um, you mentioned taking time to find a rhythm. Maybe what's clicked for you since Vegas? Shit, man, just being myself, getting back to being BP. You know, stop worrying about what's going on, or you know, um, you know, the highs and lows that come with it, whatever it is. Just get back to being me, bringing energy. Then the dominoes fall, they fall, going out there and just playing with confidence. That's the biggest thing, taking the shots that's given to me um, and, you know, just be myself. Um, I got back to just being me, not worrying about nothing else or whatever else is going on. Um, and then having great teammates that kind of find you and, you know, trusting your game and things like that makes it that much easier. Um, beginning with Chris kind of, reaching the the top five and scoring and four and scoring in the franchise seems like there's like a milestone on a regular every basis. night every night is I, me like we joked in a locker room like me robin and ta we was talking and we like it's like every time we step on the floor it's like somebody's getting a, a milestone an accolade and and it's, it's crazy just to be on the team with you know obviously two great talents in in, in Giannis and dane two top 75 players um, all the time, like that's crazy to you know to to say that your teammates with guys that's accomplished so much and franchise leaders and points and whatever it is, top five and threes, like those things are crazy. Especially like when you work so hard and you put the work in as well, and you watch someone else work and reap the benefits of hard work. Um, it's great, man. This this league is is great. It's done wonders for everybody on our team, and it's just great to have. Teammates like these guys, man, they uplift you. They make you better on a daily basis, you know, even without having to say anything. You just watch, and you watch the hard work. And you watch the commitment. You watch the sacrifice, and it's cool to see. You had mentioned the road trip you're going to be on this weekend, next week. I imagine as an NBA player, you're accustomed to maybe working on Christmas, but you're going to yep. be spending about five, six days. I in played the New there, York too, area. though. I played there, too, so I'm kind of – you know, accustomed to it a little bit. I'm just, what's that going to be like? Just spending that kind, that long a stretch and during the holidays in the same place away from home. How's that going to be? How different different will that be? And where are you expecting that trip to be like? I ain't even put a tree up this year. Like at the crib, like I don't even have a tree up because on the 22nd, which is Friday, we leave, and you know, obviously, you know, I ain't gonna be able to open no presents under my tree. I ain't gonna have my presents just <laughs> sitting at the crib under the tree for five, six days after Christmas. So um, obviously it's what our job entails us to do is what the work calls. Uh, I mean, you know, when you have to go play high level basketball on the road, that's, what's, that's what we have to do. Um, we'll come back and celebrate, you know, Christmas afterwards, or if guys have kids or whatever it is, they'll probably celebrate it before, which is probably not the same feeling, you know, waking up and being at home with your loved ones and things, but you know, 
Um, we still get the opportunity to play on Christmas, which is great being what one of 10 teams that was selected. Um, one of the things you can't really take for granted. Um, you grow up watching the greats play on Christmas every year and you open your presents and you cut the game on at 12 and you watch the Bucks. And that is your, you feel me? Like me growing up, turn the game on at 12, I watch Kobe or I watch KG or whatever it is. So being able to, you know, not saying we're, I'm in their shoes, but kind of in their shoes because we're playing on Christmas. It's a great feeling and um, it's something that you, you that you just have to cherish to the utmost. Bobby, what areas um, do you feel – well, first, like, let me ask, what improvements have you seen on defense? And then the reverse of that, what areas do you still see a uh, need for growth? For the team? Correct. Um, I think starting with defense, um, obviously um, trying to just build it. Um, obviously it's a new system for us. We're trying to do a lot of new things and have different, um, you know, reads and different, you know, coverages. Um, for the long haul, we're playing a long game, I feel like, this year, um, trying new things. Obviously, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And, you know, we can always go back to that film and watch and see what works and what doesn't work. And that's the beauty of the NBA, um, of 82 game. You know, skid is, you know, having the highs and lows that come with it. So on defense, we can obviously get a whole lot better, and we're still making strides. Um, on the offensive end, um, I like how the ball is hopping. I like how the ball is going side to side, everybody touching it, everybody getting involved. And, you know, it just does something when the ball goes side to side and somehow you're suddenly wide open for a three. Like, like who doesn't want to tee one of those up? So I think our offense is trending definitely in the right direction. Our defense can obviously get better as well. And, you know, we'll be good, you know, come here in the next couple of months. But um, still a long way to go. Um, but, you know, I think we'll be all right. We know you're a big community guy. You do a lot for the Milwaukee community. How important is it for you personally to give back? And then um, how great is it to see your teammates also giving back and being so involved? Yeah, man, uh, I think guys on this team have done a tremendous job with their own personal brands. Uh, that's one thing that the NBA and the spotlight of being a professional athlete has you know, grown so much. Like even when I first came in the league in 2015, like the perception or the voice that you have to influence others and help others and lend a helping hand by having a foundation or having a personal brand that helps give back to others. Um, it's cool to see my teammates just involved in all those aspects, especially in this city in Milwaukee where they support and, you know, love us dearly through everything we do. Even on our worst days, we still get cheered for, you know, we don't get booed. We don't get none of that. So it's kind of cool to see everybody involved. And me personally, just helping others has always been my calling. Um, one thing that I love to do is just help others. And that's one thing me and my fam take pride in. Um, you know, just not on holidays, but throughout the whole entire year. Obviously, holidays are highlighted because it's a time of, you know, coming together and a time of, you know, uh, you know, giving back. But with me, um, it's bigger than just the holidays, but the holidays are important as well. Uh, Bobby, going back to the uh, home, you mentioned the homestand. Just having so many days in a row at home, do you think that's kind of helped you guys build some chemistry here? Um, I think having some days at home was cool to sleep in my own bed for an extended period of time. And I felt like that first couple of weeks, man, we were one game here and then we'll leave again and then we come back here. Then we go to Florida and get some warm weather. Then we come back here. Then we go to Toronto, get some cold weather. Then it was like, it was all back and forth. Like it was crazy, but it was cool to, you know, obviously be in our own beds, um, see, be around our family members for an extended period of time, be around each other and uh, just build it and drill it and keep getting better and keep chopping wood. Um, it's a it's a marathon in this thing, man. You can't just, like I say, man, I said a couple of times already this year, you can't just put a team together and expect it to work day one. It's going to be highs. It's going to be lows. Um, it's going to be games where you just don't have it and the other team was just better than you that night. But if you just keep staying with it, um, keep trusting the process on, you know, where you want to get to, which the end goal is June, um, you know, you'll have a great chance at it. 
Hey, Bobby, we know you're tough physical on the court. Just do you see that a little bit in, in Andre? And what do you like about his hustle? I love Andre, man. Um, Andre is a go-getter. He's one of those guys that um, is a jack of all trades, does some of everything on the court, can rebound the ball, um, can obviously play make, um, start to knock the corner threes down, which I'm super proud of him. Um, see him putting in tons of work on it um, on a daily basis, have his headphones on or whatever on the court with his coach and just letting it fly. And it's cool to see a guy translate to the, to the game and knock it down. So always super proud of the young guys for working hard and trusting their work, man. That's just what it is on the court, uh, going out there and just letting your work, put, um, you know, showing the world, you know, it's all your hard work. So just letting your work work. And, uh, you know, he's a dog, too. Um, he plays with a chip. He plays with an edge. Um, he picks guys up full court, turns them three, four times. Um, you know, he's going to be a great basketball player in the NBA.